Shinigami here, aka Sensei Danny. Um, on some Kempo techniques this, for this series. Uh, gonna do this a little different though, check this out. With help of my uh, student, Juwan here. Your, uh, first technique is uh, delayed sword. Now, the misconception people have when they see these Kempo demonstrations is that this is how, right? He's, he's gonna step through with the right hand punch, step through, snap kick to the groin. Make sure you're behind the old chop, blah, blah, blah. Now everybody sees that and thinks that Kempo doesn't work because no one's ever going to sit there and comply like that. So, the reality is this is beginner level step one, technique number one. And there's a lot of things that you learn how to do off of this later. And uh, one of the biggest criticisms of stuff like this that you get is from like uh, MMA guys or BJJ guys who've never done any arts like this. And... Uh, they don't realize, they actually train the exact same way we do, they just do it in a more condensed form where it's uh, idea phase, what if phase, resistance phase, all in one night, every night. Whereas this is a little bit more of an extended level of that because you learn so many concepts per belt level, per, you know, there's like 16 techniques per belt level and we build on those. And then once you get to a certain level, especially in like more traditional Kempo schools than the one I teach at or learned it from, um, you know, it's, you learn it this way until you get to this level and then you learn extensions and then you get to black belt and then you learn all the modifiers. Well, we don't teach it that way at my dojo. We actually start adding the what if. So as you see, it's supposed to be for like a step through, right? But a lot of times no one's gonna do that. So. If anything, they're going to throw, your average untrained guy is going to try to big, throw a big old white right hand in. He probably won't step through. If he does, it's perfect because it sets him up for that. Either way, he's open, right? Now I can do a lot of other things off of this, right? What I can also do is blend into the, uh, if, he, if he throws the other hand, I can start moving into the second technique. So, no, first hand, first hand. Oh, I mean, I'm not, boom, boom, right? Snap. Hammer here. Actually, I'm going to move into a different technique because the hand's not on the inside anymore. So we can add the what if phase, right? And then we can go, right? He's going to, he's going to switch to southpaw. And he's going to start with a right jab, but he's going to keep coming, right? Go. Off the line of fire, right into a choke. Not exactly the technique, but it's a reference point for other things, right? So, same thing for uh, the second technique. Two hand push, right? Boom. Right? It's called uh, alternating maces. Maces and Kempo are fists. So, I'm going to pivot on my rear foot. Right? I'm going to keep this check up. Then I'm going to switch back. Back knuckle in here. All right? Basic technique, that's where it ends. Now, obviously, from here, I have a lot of options. Right? I can sweep the leg. I can... Drop the knee, right? Standing arm bar. All kinds of options. Soccer kick to the face if you want to get nasty with it, right? Uh, variations happen, right? So he steps in to push me, right? Really keeps going. Maybe I'm a little off, right? So I still have this check here, and I can still hit this, right? So, every technique has other options off of it. Now, I'm going to throw one more technique in here for this week, and um, that'll be it until next week, because again, we have a lot of techniques to go through in the system. In fact, in the next part, I'll actually show you how to get into groundwork from here, from these techniques. So, more realistic, they're going to be, um, well, we'll start with the basic one again. So he's going to get in a southpaw stance and step through with the left punch. Switch. This one is uh, del uh, delayed sword. No, sword of destruction. My bad. 
First one was the late sword, second one was alternate mazes. This is uh, sword of destruction. So he steps in with the, the left, step through, parry, snap, chop. It's delayed sword on the opposite side, right? Now, if you notice my hand was here, he didn't throw that hand. Okay, so now we get into the what if, right? So traditional way, you still step through, ba, right? This is to check that hand so I can still come in and do whatever I want, right? More realistic, he's gonna not be in a southpaw stance. He's gonna just throw a stiff jab, right? Followed by a cross. Right? Boom. See how that still works? Chop, right? Or I can palm up. Chop. I can clear around to the outside. Right? Attack the opposite leg. Come in. Snap the neck. All kinds of options. Right? So, again, more of the what if. Right? So what he's going to do now is whatever kind of resistance he wants after that, that right hand. Go. Whatever you want to do to resist. Do that again. Boom. Right in the face. Because once I get on the inside, I'm attacking the attacker. So whatever he does doesn't matter. I'm still in a better position to deal with him and get something. The further away he gets, you know... It changes the range to where I'm going to use a kick or something. As you know, that left high kick is deadly. So, once again, right, he can do whatever he wants. Keep on attacking. Go. <laughs> See? <laughs> he tried. As soon as I hit him with that uppercut, instead of the, the uh, chop, he faded right off. Now, at that point, I can, I can just run away to keep myself out of legal trouble because he's probably wondering what just happened. And regretting his choices. Right? There's also takedown options in there. So he comes in, boom, chop to the neck, right? Or if he moves his head out to the side, I come up with the elbow. Now, there's obviously Uchimata, Ayatoshi, right? I can even turn back into him and Sukagati, which, just a little nice little preview here for the jujitsu aspect is I'm right on top of him. He's got you back in the middle of the camera here. So, see, I land right here. I don't have to necessarily go all the way down. I've got an armbar already, right? Or I can actually go into the armbar. So, that's still spread out a little more in the way we usually train. But by the time you start getting his up in my gym, we actually do start adding in resistance. Uh, one of the drills we actually do after he's learned about 48 techniques is uh, what's, what's going to happen is um, he's going to come in just straight left right all the whole way and I just have to either get to the inside and do something or get the outside. See? That's just a sample. So, again, a little glimpse into how Kempo works, a little glimpse into what these techniques are for. And a little glimpse at the principles they're teaching you and how you can modify them as needed. Are you supposed to use these techniques as they're taught step by step every time? No. Exactly. So you're probably wondering, well, well then why do them? Um, it's kind of the same thing. Again, it's really the same thing as how we train in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu too. You learn how to do the basics and then you start learning all the variables. And that's what this is for. You learn a set of principles that will prepare you for just about every single variable and uh, the techniques are a reference point. You're never going to even think about it when you need to use them. You're just going to start using what you need to use in the moment. You might start from a technique depending on what your attacker throws, but you're always going to go into whatever's open after that. Me, samurai master, straight up out the land, the land caster. No one stronger, ain't no one faster. Turning the opponent.
components in the Caspers Ghost disasters, we don't do no waiting Where I'm from, we attack them Swift KO kick to the chin, leave them napping Sniff, take a whiff, that's the smell of victory Better fear, making all my peers' careers history Big dubs, all we catch is big dubs Karate chops to his tops, leave them big slumped Humble beast, beefing in the street We don't take no loss, you gon' catch defeat You gon' catch a fist and